Well, teens certainly have it tough these days. Besides the everyday stress of schoolwork and just trying to fit in, they now have the growing problem of bullying. In a recent nationwide survey, 28% of middle and high school students say, yes, they have been bullied. And over 70% say they have seen bullying in their schools. They see it going on. Well, you're about to meet a guy who's trying to change that, and he's doing it. Mark Merrow was a pro wrestling champ with the WWF. He is taking the life lessons that he has learned straight to the schools, giving kids high-powered inspiration. Take a look. See, we have two lives, the one we're born with and the one we make. And the greatest risk in life is not taking one. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. You got to go for it. You got to go for it. That'll really get you fired up. It's a program called Champion of Choices. Mark Mara joins us now to talk about the biggest issues facing teens. And Mark, great to talk to you. We've been communicating the last couple of days on Facebook, also on Twitter. And you shared some of your success stories with me, with the kids. Why do you think you have such a way of connecting with them? And I'll tell you folks at home, if you see these videos, you really see the connection between Mark and the students. You know, Susan, I think these kids can relate to me. I, I, I grew up, uh, many kids say grew up in a, in a single family home, and my dad left when I was eight years old. And, you know, but I've always been a dreamer ever since I was a kid. I dreamed of a better life for myself and my family. And I empower kids to, to dream big and think big and never give up on those dreams. And, you know, but we're seeing such a violent culture today. It's a different world than when I went to school and you went to school, mm -hmm. Susan. And, and one of the things we're doing is getting kids to talk about their adversity that they're going through, especially if they're being bullied or abused today. Yeah, Mark, bullying has been going on for years, but now we have the added technology through social media. So kids are able to hurt other kids and also remain anonymous and they can be relentless. Um, you've been able to touch kids on that and you've seen it firsthand where during one of your talks, maybe a kid who's been bullying someone else will change their way of thinking. Absolutely. You know, today, you know, when the kids get up and they, get out, they log online, they read how ugly, stupid, or worthless they are. Imagine going to school like that and not even know if you're going to see the kid that said that or, like you said, randomly, someone might have done that to you. And we're seeing kids that are, that were, especially young girls, that they have this self image of what they think they should look like. And we're seeing so many more kids that are having eating disorders. Mm -hmm. And uh, many times after our presentation, bullying's the people that have done the bullying have gone up to kids and said how sorry they were. And I always tell kids, you know, that, that one of the greatest things you can do is by apologizing to someone that you hurt, you can have a friend for life because they'll never forget it. And there's been young kids who have thought about suicide and after hearing you speak, rethought the future of their lives and decided not to do it. Share one of those stories. Well, I want, I, like the other day we were at a school and a, a little girl wrote to me, she said, the day you came today was the day I planned on killing, killing myself. She already wrote her parents' letters of uh, suicide notes, and when she saw the presentation, she realized that she wasn't alone, that she did not want to hurt her family the way she, that she, most kids that kill themselves feel like that nobody's going to care. And I've met so many parents that have lost a, a, their, their child to suicide, and the common thing they say to me is, if I only knew, if he or she only told me. And that's what our program does. It gets kids to talk about their adversity and open up. And, you know, we're, we're changing and saving lives around the country. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I really want to see legislation pass that makes parents accountable to kids that are bullying other kids. And I, I hope that's something that happens very soon because we are losing our next generation. I'm screaming from the rooftops, we're losing our kids. And we've got to make people accountable to what's happening to our young people today. Too much right. kids are going, too many kids are going through isolation, loneliness, depression, being bullied or, yes. or abused. I mean, seeing kids that are cutting themselves today, Susan, it's, it's, un, it's out of control. It's unreal. And one thing you do say to all of these kids is it will get better. Mark Merrow, thanks so much. Thank you so much. And Mark is also the author of the book, How to Be the Happiest Person on the Planet.